Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Adam from K6ARK Portable Radio. And in my last video, I demonstrated using a small Windows tablet for portable FT8 operations. Today, I'm gonna show you the details of how I get this thing set up to optimize its performance. These little computers are not very powerful and there's some settings you can tweak to really make the user experience better and make the tablet function as best it possibly can for your needs. So let's go through those. All right, let's talk a little bit about what you want to do to get this tablet or lightweight, uh, small, low-powered laptop optimized and running best for uh, WSJTX and portable operations. So first things first, with any new computer or tablet you buy or use, you want to go into your programs and remove anything you don't want or don't need. Uh, go down to the search bar, type in add remove programs, open up the application here and remove anything you don't need or don't want to use. All that is going to clear up hard drive space and eliminate the possibility of having that program running while you're trying to use as much of that processor power as possible. The next thing you want to do is go in and disable any startup apps that don't help you achieve your goal. So you'll have to kind of go through and figure out which applications are necessary for the function of that device and which others really aren't. Turn those off that are, are extra and not beneficial to your purposes and it'll help free up RAM, processor power, and uh, functionality of the computer to optimize it for your, your performance. So the next thing I like to do with this tablet is turn off tablet mode. So tablet mode works pretty well. It's down here in the, uh, the bottom right corner. You can turn it on and off with a click there. But the drawback to it is that it doesn't allow you to resize your windows. So with WSJTX, when you want to see your waterfall and your main screen, it's going to prevent you from doing that. So there's a couple settings to adjust. To get there, go into your settings. Go down to uh, into system. And then scroll down here to tablet mode. And set when I sign in, use desktop mode. Always ask before switching. And then you can leave these settings as is. So also in your settings, you're going to find the typing settings. They are under devices and the typing menu here. And if you scroll down to the touched keyboard here, I want to make sure the key sounds are off. And I want to make sure that it shows the touch keyboard when not in tablet mode and there's no keyboard attached. So that setting should be on. So back to the settings menu, I want to go into system again and down to notifications and actions. And I want to turn off all my notifications. I don't want any sounds popping up or notifications popping up while I'm trying to use uh, WSJTX. It's going to key the Vox circuit, cause problems for me. So turn all notifications off. So there's a couple of other settings I want to adjust here to help optimize my performance. I'm going to go into adjust appearance by clicking on the search menu here. Adjust appearance and performance of windows. And I'm going to set this to adjust for best performance. This is going to minimize all those uh, graphical user interface delays that you're going to experience on the tablet based on it trying to make everything look pretty and provide animations for you. So if you turn all that stuff off, it's just going to work smoother, faster, and easier. Another setting to consider are your power performance settings. You can get to these in the battery quick access button here at the bottom. And you can see this slider here that has power mode uh, for best battery performance or best overall uh, functional performance. And I typically run it on the highest two settings, edging toward the performance side of things. And battery life is still decent enough for what I'm doing. If I need to operate longer, I might set it to a lower setting or I might just carry a spare battery to plug in the tablet while I'm using it. One more thing I like to add by typing into the search bar here on screen keyboard. And that's an application that pops up an on-screen keyboard whenever you want. And I like to pin that to the taskbar. So I'll right click and then pin to the taskbar. I've already got it pinned down there. It's this icon right here. That just comes in really handy if for some reason 
you don't have uh, an application window open, but you want to type in some hotkeys or type a command into the keyboard, but you don't have a keyboard attached. So from there, you want to download and install WSJTX, some kind of time sync software. I typically use Dimension 4 uh, and internet access through a cell phone hotspot if I have that available or you can use other GPS time sync options and a GPS dongle that will plug into your tablet. So all good, uh, good things to have and necessary elements to get your time sync right for WSJTX. Fortunately, this computer doesn't seem to drift too far off time very quickly, uh, so I haven't had much trouble even when I can't time sync as long as I've used the computer somewhat recently. So I hope you found that useful in helping to get your Windows tablet or lightweight computer set up for WSJTX and getting the system optimized for performance. So thanks for joining me on this one. I'll have some more videos coming out in the future on how to get the device and WSJTX set up for use with your 817 or 857 uh, KX2 and also your IC7300. So stay tuned for those. It should be a good time. Till next time, thanks for joining me. I'm Adam from K6ARK Portable Radio, saying 7-3.